Coming up on headline news, another death related to vaping has risen the death toll to nine. And then Greta Thunberg's address at the UN Climate Action Summit. But first, House members are urging the impeachment of President Trump. Headline news starts right now. Hi, I'm Maya Christensen reporting for JVCN's Headline News, your weekly news show bringing you the top stories from around the globe. First up this week, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi announced on Tuesday that the House will officially initiate impeachment proceedings against Trump after a whistleblower complaint exposed the president of influencing a foreign government to investigate a political opponent. Trump recently admitted to influencing Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to investigate Joe Biden while he froze U.S. military aid to Ukraine. A rough transcript of the call has been released, and the whistleblower complaint is in the process of being handed over to the Senate after the White House refused to turn it over. This is a developing story. Tune in next week for more. Next on Headline News, 16-year-old climate activist Greta Thunberg gave a compelling speech at the UN Climate Action Summit earlier this week, criticizing politicians for their lack of climate action. Since then, Greta has been awarded the Alternative Nobel Prize, also known as the 2019 Right Livelihood Award. According to CNN, the award honors and supports courageous people solving global problems. A dedication ceremony will take place on December 4th. In other news, officials with the Center for Disease Control have reported another death linked to vaping. A 50-year-old Kansas man died from a severe respiratory illness and underlying health conditions connected to vaping. This is the second death in the state. Other states that have reported vaping-related illnesses and even death are California, Minnesota, Illinois, Missouri, Oregon, and Indiana. The CDC has reported 530 cases nationwide and are continuing to investigate more. That's all for this week's top news stories. This has been Maya Christensen reporting for JBCN's Headline News.